Hi everyone, welcome back to Zaxdeck. Today, we've got an essential tutorial for all you network enthusiasts out there. We'll be showing you how to automate backups for PFSense, the open source firewall and router platform. This process ensures you never lose critical configurations and settings. Let's dive in. We are going to use Auto Config Backup. Auto Config Backup is a powerful feature in PFSense that allows you to automatically backup your configuration settings. It saves these backups on NetGate external servers or cloud storage for easy access and recovery. Why is this important? Imagine your PFSense router experiences a critical failure or you need to migrate to a new hardware. Without a proper backup, you'd have to manually reconfigure everything, which can be time-consuming and prone to errors. Auto Config Backup ensures you're always prepared for such situations. To get started go to Services then Auto Config Backup. In the settings window check the box to activate the auto config backup service. Under the backup frequency, there are two available options, one for automatic backups triggered by every configuration change, ensuring a backup is performed each time you make a configuration adjustment, and another for automatic backups on a predefined schedule, guaranteeing timed backups of the configuration. If we opt for scheduled backups, we must define the hours and days for the backup. This information should be provided in the cron format. I prefer the automatically backup on every configuration change than backing up at scheduled hours, because I don't make changes that often and there is no need for backing up on a daily basis. In PFSense's auto config backup settings, the encryption password is a security feature that allows you to protect your backups with encryption. When you enable encryption for your backups, the data in the backup files is encoded in a way that makes it unreadable without the correct decryption key, which is the encryption password. As the backed up data is uploaded to third-party servers, it's crucial that this passphrase is exceptionally strong. If you lose this passphrase, there will be no way to recover the backup contents. You can designate an identifier, which will be stored as clear text metadata alongside the encrypted configuration. This feature is primarily relevant if you maintain a support subscription with NetGate. A maximum of 50 manual backups can be kept, and they won't be replaced by automatic backups. It's important to note that these manual backups still contribute to the 100 backup limit. We recommend adjusting this to 10, which we believe strikes a reasonable balance. Remember to select the Save button to ensure your configuration changes are safe. There you have it, the Auto Config Backup service is now set up. Let us make a change and see if the Auto Backup is working. Let me just rearrange the widgets on the dashboard. Let me save the changes. Let us now go to the Restore tab to see if the automatic backup is working. As you can see it is working the widget configuration I did has been backed up automatically. Make sure to make a note of the device key. 
The auto-config backup servers need this unique identifier to recognize a particular firewall. It's essential for saving or restoring a backup configuration. Be sure to keep a record of this identifier. If it's lost, it won't be possible to recover the encrypted data with auto-config backup. You'll have the option to create manual backups at your convenience. This can be particularly useful before and after performing updates or making significant changes. Simply input the revision reason, and then hit the backup button. To restore a configuration, Enter the device key and the password. We can also customize the device key field in order to restore the configuration from another firewall. The right password will also be required. Each backup offers three possible actions, restore, view, and delete. This displays the config file in XML format. You can check the config and click on Restore at the bottom. The auto-config backup service offers seamless integration with PFSense, allowing for easy configuration with just a few clicks. It's important to note that the backups are uploaded to a third-party company's servers which is NetGate. In the event of a server crash, there's a risk of losing some or all of your backups. Given these considerations, if you choose to implement auto-config backup, we strongly recommend supplementing it with regular manual backups at the very least. And there you have it, folks. You've successfully automated your PFSense backups using auto-config backup. This ensures that your configurations are safe and sound, giving you one less thing to worry about. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.